All right. So I ordered this Luxium Stinger on, well, let's see, November 22nd, 2024. Today's the 29th, I believe it is, day after Thanksgiving. Um, just got here. So shipping time's not terrible at all. Um, and I'm assuming this is the free Luxium Torch flashlight that they said they were sending. So we're going to take a peek at that. See, and there's, we got a little a six inch charging cable. Here's the little, the little torch. Oh, comes with a, uh, doesn't seem like much of a torch to be honest with you. Guess the battery must be about dead, but yeah, I mean, seems like a decent little cheap flashlight. You know, maybe throw in the car or something. So anyway, then we got uh, the featured item. The Luxium Stinger. So let's take a peek at this, see if I can do this with one hand. I'm real curious as to how this thing's gonna hold up. So the thing is, is I watched, <clears throat> I actually ordered a different watch. Um, I don't know, a few days before this and actually canceled it because I'm like a bonehead, I should have uh, looked up reviews and stuff beforehand. Um, which I looked up the reviews on that other watch after I ordered it and um, found out that I was getting really crappy reviews. And a big reason I wanted a smartwatch is to monitor my heart and all that stuff. Um, I have AFib, high, hypertension and stuff like that. So I just want to try to be a little responsible with it. And the other watch had actually said that the... Um, the blood pressure reading was pretty much the same always, 140 over 90. Uh, and one guy actually said that he tested it while he was in the doctor's office as they took his blood pressure. And again, it read 140 over 90, which was completely off. So needless to say, I canceled that one right away. Um, looked at a bunch of reviews for these guys. Um... And all the reviews I looked at were on YouTube for the most part. All these rave reviews, everybody's running it over with a, a, a Pathfinder and tapping it with a hammer, uh, all kinds of stuff, saying how great it is. So I went ahead and um, I bit and I went ahead and ordered one. Um, I actually got it for a pretty decent price. I think it was on sale for like $128. Plus, they had a 25% off uh, code, as well as when I signed up with my email, I think that gave me another 10% off. So, all in all, I think I paid like 80-some-odd dollars for this thing. So, it's not terrible. Um, but, um, afterwards, I started digging a little bit deeper and typed into Google and ended up finding... A lot of crappy reviews. So, um, not only crappy reviews on the watch, but also with their customer service. So, a lot of people said that uh, the thing lasted. Some people said, uh, I think, three or three weeks or so. Some people said a couple, two or three months, um, and stuff started going wrong. Then I started seeing stuff about um, the heart 
monitor not working properly, um, this, that, and the other. So needless to say, I decided I was going to do a little unboxing and, uh, you know, I'll probably wear it for a month or so and see how that goes and uh, go ahead and put the video together and, and let it out. Because if this is crap, you know, I'd really like to keep people from getting taken. Um, so I'm not saying they're a crappy company, but I also can't vouch for them. Um, and after seeing all those reviews, uh, I'm a little sketched out, but yeah. I didn't want to spend a whole crap load of money on a, an Apple watch, um, which I actually wouldn't mind the monthly cost of an Apple watch, but they also force you to get another line, which they charge you an additional $11.99 a month for. So, uh, you know, that's pushing the price up to about another 30 bucks a month which is kind of ridiculous. You know, I already have four lines as it is and we only use three, but Apple won't allow me to use that fourth line for an Apple watch. Um, they said I have to get a whole nother line aside from the four that I have. It just seems like just a scam, you know, for them to make an extra uh, 12 bucks a month. So anyway, so let's see if we can get this guy open here. Got a little, a little uh, Lexium Stinger durable smartwatch user manual. Okay, power on pairing. All right, take a look at that pretty soon. A little charging cable. Which you know, one thing I found funny is when I was ordering this thing, it. On the little sidebar, or maybe it was underneath, it was saying, oh, uh, users that bought this also bought that. And it had a charging cable and different watch bands and things like that, which I thought was kind of funny. I'm like, is this thing really not going to come with a, a charging cable? But uh, then I looked a little further into the specifications and it said it did, so I'm not going to order another one. Here's the watch. So far, it seems like it has some decent weight to it. Um, I don't know if this is some kind of neoprene band or something, but it feels pretty good. feels like it'll be pretty comfortable. So, yeah. Pull that guy off. Well, let's see if we can figure out how to power this thing up. So it looks like this guy here. See if it has any kind of charge to it. Oh, and it does. All right. Going with English. Scan to bind. Not quite sure what that means, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and set this thing up and, um, yeah, I'll get back with you guys and, you know, add another video, letting you all know how it, uh, how it works.